but let's go drive it and uh, see what we end up with at uh, 55 and 65 and 70. By the way, this is a temperature laser gun. I'm gonna show you this is a cold start. Truck starts nicely. Anyway, it's on the exhaust manifold right there. And you can see it reads 90 degrees and that's what it is today. It's about 95 degrees outside. We're in the airplane hangar. So it's cold start. And uh, yeah, just, uh, I'll go start it for you. I hope the keys are in it. I haven't even checked yet. head out on that test drive for you and uh yeah old blue let's check it out Here we go. Nice hot July day, but this truck gets get good ventilation. You know, it's no substitute for air conditioning, <laughs> but it does ventilate pretty well. That's all they had back in the day. Okay, we'll be where I can drive highway speeds in just a second here. I took my uh, phone out and got my app to show uh, accurate speedometer reading, because I'm not sure how accurate this speedometer is. But let's see here. According to my phone, we're going 30 miles an hour. And according to this, at this point, we're going, wait a minute, we're going 38. And, and this says 44. <clears throat> so it looks like the speedometer is reading a little fast compared to this. Let's see, we're at, uh, yeah, 38, and here we're about 45. Speedometer looks like it might be five to seven miles fast. Okay, I'll put this down and uh, we'll drive highway speeds after this car gets on the other side of us. All right. The shifts in this thing are nice and tight and crisp. I take off in second gear because the first gear, of course, is a granny gear, kind of a <clears throat> throwaway gear. And it does beautifully well taking off in second. Steer's pretty easy for one of these trucks, too. Okay, so that's fourth gear, and uh, we're up with traffic already. Up with traffic, actually we're gaining on traffic. My speedometer says 70, and here it says 60. Okay, so at higher speeds, it's 10 miles fast, which that just needs to have a new Gear, gear put in it to get an accurate reading. I'll take it on up to 70, which would be 80 on the speedometer. Okay, so this is an extraordinarily bumpy road. This is the entry to the private airport that my hangar is on. And uh, this is a tight old truck. You know, it's not colliding with itself, and of course it's 75-year-old technology thereabout, so it's not gonna, well, not quite that old, but I guess, let's see, what would it be? High 60s, 
and it's obviously a new again truck. This is what it would have felt like basically if you went to the dealer and bought it brand new. Brakes are very responsive. It's just as nice as you could expect one of these trucks to be without a few more upgrades, which this truck is the perfect platform to do some more upgrades. Okay, I hope this helps. Adios. Okay, well, we... Uh we identified the fact that the speedometer is not accurate, but all the gauges are working. You got a working radio, working horn, working everything. Good to go truck. Perfect platform for some tweaks, and uh, I'll, I'm happy to talk to you about tweaks. All right, adios.